walking down from that stage, I had these mixed feelings of triumph, excitement, fear, and a word that would ring in my head, yes. You may see a confident professional, but what you don't see is the people that brought me there, that invested in me, my teachers that kept poking sticks at me, telling me to, you know, <laughs> get my stuff together, <laughs> and my parents, my mom, and how she came from Mexico over here just to give me another opportunity. She would work every day, double shifts. I would see one parent a half a day, my other parent the other half, and it was just this teamwork. They're an inspiration to me. After I presented, wow, this, it's like if I took this store that opened many opportunities. I mean, I got interviewed by Youth Radio, I presented at the LA County Department of Public Health. Uh, I came out on a connected learning webcast. I went to speak at a USC Geospatial Summit, and all these things, you know, just started opening up for me, and I was thankful to God, you know, because I wouldn't see myself here. And then I started thinking, I'm like, why? Why me? I'm just another student. I'm not the tallest. I'm not even the shortest. <laughs> And then I started thinking, I'm like, why? Why me? I'm just another student. When I was at the Ezra Convention, a Guatemalan lady came up to us and started saying how wonderful we presented and just thanking us. And at the moment, I was like, well, why are you thanking us? I didn't understand. But this presentation was about representation, representing my family my school, my community, my people. We advocated for environmental justice. This year, we have Roosevelt students getting ready to advocate for health and wellness. Imagine what students are capable of with other powerful tools. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Stephanie Ortiz. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. We live in a city that has invisible borders that divide the rich and the poor. I live in a city where race and income affect the quality of my education. Every day, I see three different worlds on my one hour bus ride to school. I see the poverty in South Los Angeles, the gentrified downtown LA. Then I begin to see these beautiful and colorful murals that represent my culture and identity, notifying me that I have reached Boyle Heights. I see all these students who look exactly like me, all yearning for the learning that will enable them to change their backpacks for briefcases and their homework for a grad school diploma. I presented at the Esri International Users Conference on July 8, 2013. As I was walking onto that stage, wishing that my parents were there. All I could think about was my father coming home and seeing him. Seeing him in bed just laying down, exhausted from work at the age of 34. He should not be having excruciating back pains that, that are affecting his health. His job is slowly killing him, and it is devastating to see my father in this position. But he was my motivation that day. And I will attend a four-year university this fall, and I will continue to proceed and follow my dreams of becoming someone successful in life. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Roxana Ayala. So, what? the place where I've been raised for over 18 years, a place where students are perceived as incompetent, a place where schools are setting up students for failure. As I grew up without my parents, I taught myself to navigate through this neighborhood that was caught between gang wars and was filled with poverty. I taught myself to be independent and be resilient in the midst of adversity, but pursuing my goals seemed to be becoming an illusion as things at home began to crumble down. I was placed in classrooms 
that didn't have any windows, that didn't have any textbooks, I often questioned myself, am I really in school? I signed up for a magnet school that was an hour away from my house. Never had I seen the school, but I knew that I was willing to take the risk in order to get a better environment. And if it meant that I had to wake up fi at 5.30 in the morning every day for four years, then I was willing to do so. Boro Heights became my Beverly Hills. It has also given me the biggest treasure that I have, which is the Math, Science, Technology, Magnet Academy, as it taught me to empower and it challenged me intellectually. Now, four years later, I am empowered and continue to pursue my dreams. I have hardworking teachers who have invested in me, who have invested in my future and empower me on a daily basis and tell me that I can do it. My life and my journey is not over. This fall, I will enroll in a four-year university. I'm proving that the impossible is possible. Thank you. Today we're gonna to talk about inspiration. I presented at the Esri user conference. I got there because I showed everybody that if you give me a couple of tools, I could do so, so much and I could just go above and beyond. And not so long ago, I was also granted the opportunity to present at a Linux Expo. There I presented on the vulnerabilities that a system may have and how to fix them. Easy stuff. One of the forces that pushes me every day, that gives me the courage, and that feeds my hunger for success are my teachers at Roosevelt Magnet. They just gave me this thirst for knowledge. It just can't be quenched. No matter how much I read, no matter how much I learn, it's just still there. My mom, she is an undocumented immigrant from Mexico who migrated in the 90s, and she risked her life for one shot at the American dream. She's taught me two things, to work hard and to do something I love. She now works as selling vegetable juices and she wakes up every morning to make them and then she gets on her bike with two bags at her side and goes up and down the streets of South LA. And the money isn't good, but it's enough to help our family. But she loves it and sometimes I look at her and I envy her because she has this feeling of self-accomplishment. Like she likes what she does. She likes to help us at home. She likes to see us come from school. And it's something I don't have yet because I wanna find a job where I could come from a 12 hour shift and be happy because I love what I'm doing. So I'm planning to go to a four year university, get a major in computer science. Um, actually this morning I received a notification that I had been admitted to um, one of the UCs, so I'm really happy today. Yeah. I know I can do it. When I grow up, I want to be like my mom. Yeah.